What would happen if you found that your plate was empty and you didn't know where your next meal was coming from? There's enough food for everyone, but our food systems are failing an increasing number of people around the world. Why? If you live directly off the land like many do, climate change means more flooding or more extreme droughts, or you may not have regular employment due to your social status or gender or other social or economic reasons preventing you from meeting your most basic needs, like food. Or perhaps conflict has forced you from your home and community. Sarah is a mother of three, living with her elderly father. Her family was forced to flee her home community because of conflict and violence. After finding their way to a safer place, they suddenly had no regular access to food. Like millions of others, they lost all their normal supports and came to rely on the generosity of her host community and support from outside organizations like Canadian Food Grains Bank. Sarah lives a world away. How can support be provided to her family? To do this, food is purchased as closely as possible to the area of need. This is most efficient, reduces transportation costs and ensures the most appropriate food for those in need. This is also important for supporting local farmers and food producers. Canadian Food Grains Bank works through its 15 Canadian member agencies who in turn work with local partners in areas where food is needed. Through these partners who understand the local language and culture, Sarah and her family can register for a food assistance project. She might receive a food basket, some basic staple foods and nutritional supplements. If she's able, she could participate in a food for work project and receive food or cash as payment, which allows her to provide for herself and contribute to the economy of her host community. If she were living on farmland, she may also receive seeds or tools or even animals, which provide food and income for the family. If Sarah is living in a place where there are good markets with available food, she could receive cash or a mobile phone transfer or food vouchers to be used with approved food vendors in local markets. This ensures she has access to enough nutritious food and allows her to make her own choices about what food her family eats. Now, Sarah and her family can worry a little bit less about where their next meal is coming from and make plans to get their lives back to normal as quickly as possible. Food assistance is one important way the Food Grains Bank Network, in cooperation with the Canadian government, is providing food to the people who need it most. To donate, go to foodgrainsbank.ca.